Welcome back to Avery Trace Middle School where we are set to get this game back underway after a lengthy, nearly an hour long weather delay. Both teams have retaken the field. Avery Trace leads all good, 8-0. to zero. Avery Trace will be kicking off after that 51-yard touchdown run by Jackson. Rollins will be interested to see how the teams handled this long break as it's an onside kick out of the break. All good. The receiver bends down into a knee. It bounces off his chest, and it is recovered by the Raiders. So Avery Trace steals a possession early in the first quarter. They hold the 8 to nothing lead, come right out of the weather delay, perhaps take advantage of some of that rust that can build up. Bounces right off the chest of a Redskin, and all good for or Avery Trace falls on it, so they will look to try to score again. They scored on the first play of the drive and their only drive of the game so far. Keontae Easter leading the huddle for the Raiders. He will be the quarterback moving under center with Jackson Rollins in this backfield. Caleb Holzer out to his left. Easter takes the snap, hands off to Rollins. Rollins up the middle. He is hit in the backfield and taken down. A nice defensive play. It'll be no gain, maybe even loss of a half a yard there for Avery Trace. And that, we have been here for both Avery Trace games so far, and I believe that is the first rush of no gain of the season for Jackson Rollins. No gain on the play. Nice defensive play brings up second and 11. Once again, make sure you hit that share button so your family and friends know this game has resumed. They can watch it live. Tag them in the comment section. Tell us where you're watching from tonight. Always a thrill. There was a weather delay, but it never rained. There was no lightning here. It was just seen off in the distance. Low 80s. It's a nice night out here despite the weather. Skies are clearing up a bit. There's clouds around the stadium, but not here. That pitch comes outside to Rollins. Rollins hits the outside at the 50. A flag is down. He is going to take off to the 40 before he is blown out of bounds. And another flag is going to be thrown there. So two flags on the play here. We'll see if they end up being offsetting penalties. It'll probably be an unnecessary roughness as Rollins was pushed out of bounds. So we'll see what the officials come back with. They're discussing it now. They're still discussing it. If it is offsetting penalties, we'll see what that ends up bringing up. Officials are going to discuss it some more, and here he comes to make the call. They're going to back up Avery Trace. Holding is going to be called against the Raiders, and then after the play is over, a personal foul called against the Redskins, and that's going to end up being a first down for Avery Trace. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sure what the defender is supposed to do there. He completes the tackle. Yes, they go out of bounds. I think that's a play that looks worse than it is, but regardless, it doesn't matter. It's a first down for the Raiders. That's one of those bang-bang calls. You never know when a tackle gets brought out of bounds like that what they're going to go with there. They call the personal foul. Easter. With Rollins to his left, Holzer to his right. Oh, it's first down, Avery Trace. About the 37 yard line. The snap is handoff to Holzer. Holzer bounces around left side. He has some room. He gets to the edge, past the sticks, and more. He's headed towards, and he is bounced out of bounds inside the 20. So Avery Trace enters the red zone. Caleb Holzer got to the edge, kept going, bounced it around the end. Looked like he had his eyes set for the end zone, but the Redskins get back and force him out of bounds. It's another first down. This was a Avery Trace offense last week that had no trouble moving up and down the field. We mentioned it. They got the 44-0 win over Prescott. Easter under center. Tumen in the backfield. He takes the handoff, hands off to Rollins. Rollins cuts up the middle. He is hit and taken down. A nice tackle there. It'll bring up second down. That's a gain of about five or six. We'll say it's second and four. Once again, make sure you hit that like button, comment, tag your friends so they know they can watch this game live, share the broadcast. Avery Trace threatening to score with the 8-0 lead in the first quarter. The game was scheduled to start at 6.30. We had one offensive play before a lightning delay hit. Easter with Holzer and Rollins in the backfield. 
He backs up into the shotgun now. One receiver left, one receiver right. Easter takes a snap, drops back to pass. Looks right, a flag is down. Flag is down before the snap. This is going to be the first pass, pass of the game for Avery Trace. When you got guys like Caleb Holzer and Jackson Rollins, you don't have to throw the ball a whole lot. And that penalty is going to be a dead ball false start called against Avery Trace. That'll back him up five yards, make it second and nine. Easter comes to the side, gets the play call from his dad, Orlando Easter, and now goes into the huddle. And he breaks it. This same formation with both Caleb Holzer and Jackson Rollins in the backfield that they're running with. Second and nine. Easter takes the snap, hands off Rollins around the right side. Blockers are there. Redskins try to chase him, and he turns upfield now, buries the head forward. Let's see if he got in. He did. That's a touchdown for the Raiders. Jackson Rollins with his second touchdown of the game. The Redskin defense hit him at the goal line, but he was able to barrel his way in. So the lead swells to 14-0. And they will go for two again. Once again, that is customary in middle school football to go for two. The Raiders converted on all but one of their two-point conversion tries last week against Prescott. Easter will go under center on this play. Two yards to gain. He takes the snap, hands off Caleb Hoser, wide open through the middle. Lowers the head forward, but he gets hit. The ball comes out. Let's see what they rule here. They're going to say he did not get in. Not sure if that was a fumble or just stopped in front of him. He looked like he had a hole, but it closed up quickly. So the Redskins prevent the two-point try. It's now 14-0. So Avery Trace leads 14-0. We'll be right back on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. Welcome back to Avery Trace, where the Raiders have taken a 14-0 lead over the Redskins. Let's see if it's another onside kick. It's a squib kick that comes back. The Redskins roll back and fall down on top of the ball, so it'll be the first offensive possession of the game for all good. And I'll say, yes, the, Red, the Raiders scored on that last drive, but it's a nice job by the all good defense to slow down this high-powered offense. It's no small feat to keep the Raiders out of the red zone, but this is the first chance Allgood has to go offensively in the first game of the season for the Redskins. Quarterback is Mason Taylor for the Redskins. He comes under center with two men in the backfield. Watching warm-ups, it seems they have two running backs who they like to use. Taylor takes the snap. He hands off. The running back cuts upfield. He has some room to run. He gets about seven or eight yards. It's a nice rush there by Cullum. Jaleric Cullum. And he is a bit slow to get up, but he bounces back to his feet. A nice offensive play on the ground by Allgood to get eight yards. Ball is spotted at the 46-yard line. Second and two for the Redskins. Avery Trace defense last week giving up two first downs in the entire game as a personal foul goes against the Raiders. So it'll be 15 more tacked on, and it'll bring up first and 10 for all good on the Avery Trace 41-yard line. Hey, 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 
So, all good enters Avery Trace territory. Taylor under center. Moves his man in motion. Turns around. Hands off. Right up the middle to the fullback. He is hit and dropped in the backfield. A nice defensive play by the Raiders. Loss of two on the play. Second and 11. Pardon me. About second and 12 here. Defensive line of Avery Trace. Highly touted. Bust right up through the middle of the line there. The handoff was given to Jackson Cancel. He's that second head of that two-headed monster in the backfield for all good between Cullum and Cancel. Taylor, two receivers to his left, one to the right. Cancel and Cullum in the backfield. Taylor takes the snap, pitches out to the left side. Cullum, he keep, looks to keep his feet under him, but he's unable to do so, and he is brought down in the backfield. Another loss. Now the Avery Trace defense starting to tee off on these runs by the Redskins. That'll be a loss of one. Second and thir third and 13 now. Not where Allgood wants to be behind the chains. The Avery Trace 43-yard line. Taylor, under center. Colum and Cancel in the backfield. He takes the snap. Rolls out to his right. Throws over. It's Colum, but it bounces off his chest and onto the ground. That looked like a forward pass, but a flag is going to be thrown here. Incomplete, and Coach Easter is livid with the flag thrown. Probably looks like a personal foul here. Coach Easter is not having any of it. The Raiders have already had one personal foul called against them on this drive. We'll wait for the call from the official. It is a dead ball. Personal foul against Avery Trace. So another first down. That'll be an automatic first down. Coach Easter is livid. The official is going to come over and talk to him, explain the call. So two personal foul calls against Avery Trace has put the Redskins with two first downs. So it'll be a Redskin first down on the Avery Trace 32-yard line. And now another flag is going to be thrown here. We'll see who it goes against. Looks like it may go against the Avery Trace sideline here. We wait for the call. Penalty marker on the field. It's going to be another penalty called against Avery Trace. Another personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct call. So unsportsmanlike conduct. Back-to-back 15-yard penalties now move the all-good Redskins into the red zone. Their first trip to the red zone and not in their opening drive. Looking to respond. They trail 14-0 early, but after the onside kick, they haven't had any offensive possessions. Mason Taylor under center. Cullum and Cancel in the backfield. He turns, hands off. It's Cullum. He cuts up the middle, and he's going to get taken down. Well down by number five, Kenny Kimball. So he's going to get taken down after a gain of about three, it looks like. No gain, pardon. Looks like he got across the line of scrimmage, but they said he doesn't. There we go, Third, three-yard pickup. So it's second and seven for all good in the red zone on the 14-yard line. The sun is setting here. What's turning into a very nice night at Avery Trace. Taylor under center. 
He takes the snap. Pitch goes outside. It's to cancel. He cuts up at the middle. He gets near the first down before he's going to get ripped backwards. He didn't get to the marker, though. It's up to the night. It's going to bring up third down and one for all good. So it's going to be third and about four for all good. You got to believe it's four down territory, trailing 14 0 in the first quarter. Taylor under center. He's going to drop back to pass here. He's looking right. He's going to get hit in the backfield. It's sat. A big play by Isaiah Peak, who comes into the backfield off the edge. Gets the sack and makes it fourth and long. A big play by the Avery Trace defense. Backs all good up and puts them in a fourth and long. Once again, hit that like button or that heart button. Comment your friend's name so they can watch this game live. Hit that share button. It's the only place you're going to be able to see middle school football every Thursday night. As Mason Taylor comes under center on fourth and ten. He takes the snap. He's looking to pass. He gets hit in the backfield and taken down. Back-to-back -back sacks by the Avery Trace defense. Force a turnover on downs. Sack is made by Vince Alto Belli, a back-to-back -back big plays by the Raiders, and now the Raider offense will take over. And that's a big sequence, perhaps. When you look at the complexion of this game, it's a 14-0 lead. They could have cut it down to a one-possession game. Instead, Avery Trace looks to make it a three-possession game. Thirty-nine seconds to go in the first quarter. Avery Trace leads fourteen to zero. Once again, the scoreboard's not working here. They're using a small scoreboard that we can't see from where we're perched up. So, bear with us when we explain how much time is left in the quarters. This perhaps could be the last play of the first quarter. Easter under center with Rollins in the backfield. He turns hands to Rollins. Rollins bounces around the left end. He gets to the 20. Now he's to the 25. He's to the 30. He's to the 40. 45. 50. 45. 40. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone. Jackson Rollins, there are no flags on the field, and he goes over 80 yards to the end zone for the touchdown. Rollins, third score of the game. Jackson Rollins on a 70-yard 80 yards for Jackson Rollins. The lead swells. It's now 20 to 0. And once again, what a big momentum shift. Avery Tra or all good threatening to score back-to-back -back sacks by the Raiders and then an 80-yard touchdown has flipped this game on its head. Raiders going for two here. Hand off to Rollins. He's hit in the backfield and dropped. Let's see if he got in. He's still on his feet, spins into the end zone. They're going to say he is down, and he doesn't get it. So the score remains at 20 to 0. 24 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Avery Trace leads 20 to 0. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. 
If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Welcome back to Avery Trace. 24 seconds left in the first quarter of this game, and the Raiders lead 20-0. Allgood has only had one offensive drive. It's stalled out in the red zone. Two big runs by Jackson Rollins have swelled the lead up to 20. Pardon, it's 22-0. When we went away there on the break, they ended up calling a face mask penalty against Allgood. When they called that face mask penalty against Allgood, it went half the distance to the goal, which they then punched in the two-point conversion. So it's a 22-0 lead for Avery Trace. The kickoff is going to be fielded and going down to a knee. Kick is fielded by number 14, Carson Haney. So the Redskins will take over with decent field position at about the 44-yard line. We've got a couple of broadcasts scheduled for next week. We'll be there for Cookville versus Oakland in a friendly girls' soccer match and also a middle school football game on Thursday night. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. We put up all of our broadcasts when we schedule them on there. You're not going to want to miss it. Also tomorrow, the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show. I will be at White County to discuss White County's upcoming football season. You're not going to want to miss it. Mason Taylor under center. He takes the snap and the hands off. Cutting up the middle, flag is down on the field. We'll see who it goes against. Maybe an offsides call, but we'll have to see. Could be illegal formation. Clock will stop. 16 seconds left in the first quarter once again. Yes, still in the first quarter of this game that started at 6.30 after a very lengthy weather delay. Officials discussed that run play didn't go far at all. We wait for the call. They're going to wave off the flag, say no penalty. So the play will stand, and it will be second and about 11. And all good does not want to be behind the chains against this very fast and stingy every trace defense. They played five straight shutout quarters of football to open up the season. An official is going to blow his whistle here, and it will be a timeout called by all good. Eight seconds left to go in the first quarter. Avery Trace leads 22-0. We'll stay with you through the break because we're going to go to a break as soon as this first quarter ends. All good, obviously not happy with that offensive formation. They'd like to burn the timeout. All good offense hasn't had much time to work. As we've said, only the one drive. They were aided by three personal foul, 15-yard penalties called against the Raiders. Other than that, they had a rush for eight yards and two sacks for the Avery Trace defense. Tells the story. On the other side, before the season started, Coach Orlando Easter told me that he thinks Jackson Rollins is one of the best running backs in the state. Well, he's backed that up so far in the first two weeks. Two long touchdowns today. He has all three scores for the Raiders so far. 
We'd love to see where you're watching from. Mention it in the comments. Tag your friends and family so they know they can watch this game live. Hit that like button, that heart button. Teams retake the field. This will likely be the last play of the first quarter. Taylor comes up under center. Two men in the backfield, the I formation. One receiver out to his left. Loading up the box are the Raiders on defense. Snap, and there's the handoff cutting up the middle and now getting hit for a very minimal gain. Jaleric Cullum is hit in the backfield to bring up third and long. So at the end of the first quarter of play, Avery Trace leads all good 22 to 0. We'll be right back. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Welcome back to Avery Trace, where we are set to get the second quarter underway. The Raiders lead the all-good Redskins 22-0. Three rushing touchdowns by Jackson Rollins tell the story. All good needs to convert this third down. It is third and 11. It's an all-good offense that has to keep up with the high-powered Avery Trace defense. Can't afford many punts and turnovers. Mason Taylor, under center, takes the snap. He looks left. He throws it over there. It's a screen, and it's going to be dropped on the ground. It's recovered, but they're going to rule it incomplete, which is the correct call. It was a forward pass. It was definitely a forward pass. It's an incomplete pass. And that will bring up fourth and 11 from the 44-yard line. Fourth and 11, a punt situation, it appears, for all good, behind the chains in their own side of the field. You never want to take anything for granted. It's a very spirited Avery Trace sideline right now. It is a punt formation. Mason Taylor back to kick. He takes the snap, and the kick is away. A decent kick, and it's an all-good bounce as it's going to roll deep back into Avery Trace territory. It gets touched down around the 20-yard lines on the opposite side of the hash marks. So Avery Trace looking to try to put this game away in the first half. 
All good defense trying to figure out a way to slow down Jackson Rollins. Keontae Easter is in the shotgun. Pardon, it looks like it's going to be Caleb Holzer. Takes the snap. Holzer is going to get hit in the backfield and taken down. A nice play by the defensive front of Allgood. Gets in the backfield. Holzer tried to make something out of it. I mean, it appears that that is going to go down as a sack. A very nice play by the Allgood defense. Hoser still in the backfield. He's joined by Jackson Rollins. He takes the snap. He's going to pass. Now he tucks it down. He's getting pressured, so he's going to rush up the middle. He has some room to run. He takes it around the edge of the side. And a big hit is leveled on him, but he gets more than enough for the first down. A nice play by Caleb Hoser around to the outside. He gets to the edge. Gain of about 17 or 18 on the play, and it brings up an Avery Trace first and 10. Hoser's lined up as a running back tonight. He's lined up as a wide receiver, and now he's lined up as the quarterback. A triple threat player for the Raiders, and they're going to rush up to the line. He's in the shotgun. John by Rollins, two receivers right, two to his left. Trying to get those receivers out of the box. He takes the snap, looks to his right. It's a screen pass. It's caught. Now turning upfield. He's going to get brought down after a gain of about eight. Pass is completed to Jackson Collins. It'll bring up second and two for Avery Trace. And that is the first pass statistically of the game for the Raiders. Holzer in the shotgun, takes the snap. He drops back to pass. It's another screen. It's caught. And a very nice defensive play. The ball is out. It's fumbled, and it's recovered by Allgood. What a defensive play. Blake Owen coughs it up. Mason Taylor forces the fumble, recovers the fumble. So the cornerback, the quarterback also playing cornerback. Pardon, that is actually number three, True McLaughlin. What a defensive play there. Regardless, a great play by the Redskin defense gets them the ball back and perhaps gives them new life in this game, which they're trailing 22 to zero. If I can read that scoreboard correctly, it looks like it's about 6:02 left to go in the second. It is a very small scoreboard out there, as the normal big one is out right now. But new life, perhaps, for all good. They're on the 42 of Avery Trace. Taylor takes the snap. It's a pitch to the left side. Jaleric gets hit in the backfield and taken down for a big loss. The Avery Trace defense is teeing off on those outside pitches. Jacob Knight with the tackle gets into the backfield and takes down Cullum. So it's second and 16, really. All good defense has done a pretty nice job tonight. Now the offense looks to get it going in second and long. Taylor takes the snap. Hands off. Cullum is met and dropped in the backfield. And Avery Trace defensive line is giving up nothing so far. That'll be another loss to bring up second, third and 16. They're going to blow a whistle here for an injured player. He's making his way off the field, though. Shouldn't last too long at all. It'll be third and 16 for all good.
Taylor. Two receivers out to his right. We'll see if they try to throw it so far. All those passes have been screens. He drops back to pass. It's another screen. It's going to get caught by Cullum. He is met and dropped in the backfield for another loss, and that will bring up fourth and long. Three straight great plays by the Avery Trace defense. We'll get their offense the ball back. All good, unable to capitalize on the turnover. We'll see if they like to punt it away or go for it on fourth and very long. They go back into the punt formation. It is Mason Taylor back to kick. Watch the fake, says the Avery Trace sideline. He takes the snap and he punts it away. It's a decent kick. And it bounces to the outside. It goes out of bounds. Avery Trace will take over right about their 30-yard line. Just under three and a half minutes left to go in the second quarter. Twenty-two to zero is the score in favor of Avery Trace. Three minutes and twenty-five seconds left to go in the second quarter, and a game that saw a lengthy, lengthy lightning delay. Timeout's going to be called on the field. Timeout for All Good. Their second timeout of the game. So with three twenty-three left to go in the second quarter, Avery Trace leads All Good at twenty-two to zero. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Report. First and 10 for Avery Trace Ball at the 30-yard line. Caleb Holzer back in at quarterback. He takes the snap, hands off to Jackson Rollins. He has a hole up the middle. He takes it. Now he's around in. He's to the 40. He cuts back towards the middle at the 45. Now he's to the 50. He's got some space. He's to the 40. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Avery Trace. No flags on the field. Jackson Rollins, 70-yard touchdown, his fourth of the game. And now Avery Trace takes complete control of this ball game. The lead swells up 28 to 0. The all good defense had a couple of arm tackle chances there, but Jackson Rollins just too fast. He breaks through. And now the two point conversion attempt. They're looking to make it a 30-point lead. Holzer takes a snap. He jumps. He's going to run. He runs to the outside. The block is going to be laid there, but he's going to get hit in the backfield. He's still swarmed up. He pitches it behind him, though, and now the ball gets punched out of bounds. They don't get in. A broken play there, and now a flag is going to get thrown after the play is over, so that will go on the kickoff. We'll give you that call on the kickoff. Avery Trace leads 28-0.
We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. The penalty is an unsportsmanlike conduct call. I believe it's going to go against Avery Trace. At least that's the direction they point it in. Jason watching in Macon County, Tennessee. Diane and Baxter thrilled you guys could join us tonight for this broadcast. We do these frequently every week, starting to ramp them up now that school is back in session. The school's sports teams are getting their seasons underway. Like I said, next week we'll be there for Cookville versus Oakland High School in a friendly girls soccer match. Also have a middle school football game on Thursday night next week. Tomorrow we'll be in White County for the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show as the kickoff is going to get bounced off the chest of a Redskin. He then lurches forward and makes the grab. McLaughlin jumps on it, and he's able to come up with it, so it will be all good ball. 3.08 left to go in the second quarter. It's a 28-0 lead, so all good. Desperate for a score on this drive. Mason Taylor comes up to the line. The first drive saw some success with their rushing offense. Since then, Avery Trace has teed off on it. Let's see what they go with here. Mason Taylor drops back to pass. He's looking left. He's going to have to be rolled back, and he is sacked. Four different Raiders there on the play come up with the sack, and it brings up second and long. Isaiah Peak is going to get credited with the sack, his second of the game. And this Avery Trace defensive front is beginning to swarm as we adjust the cameras here. Bear with us. I want to give you a straight picture of all the action. Make sure you hit that share button if you're watching this so your family and friends know they can watch this live. Comment where you're watching from. Love to interact during the broadcast as Taylor faces a second in about 17. He is under center in the eye formation, takes the snap, hands off. It's right up the middle where the man is going to be hit and dropped. Just nowhere to run so far for all good. Jackson Cancel with the carry, but no gain or actually a loss of one there to bring up third and 17. 66, on the tackle. Tackles made by Talon Meadows. Third and long for an all-good team facing a four-score deficit. It's 28-0. to zero. As time ticks under two minutes to go in the first half. Taylor in the eye. Two men to the right. See if they go back to that screen pass. It's a pitch to the outside. Cullum spins, and he's going to get hit and taken down, still behind the original line of scrimmage. Gain of about three on the play, and it'll bring up fourth and 12. Now, all good is at the Avery Trace 42-yard line. We'll see if they elect to punt or try to go for it, but it is a very long fourth down as time ticks down. 57 seconds left in the half. Facing a Avery Trace offense that's shown the big playability, you got to imagine they want to run the clock down as much as they can. All good head coach Chris Comer is standing with the official. See if he likes to call timeout as the play clock runs down here as we are under 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And he does call a timeout. So timeout on the field here, 25 seconds to go in the first half. Avery Trace leads 28-0.
We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. Twenty-five seconds remaining in the first half. Avery Trace leads twenty-eight to zero at halftime. We'll be taking a short break, but the you'll be able to hear the sights and sounds of the stadium. But stay tuned for the second half of action as the teams are going to go in and make their halftime adjustments. If you do would like to go away, come back after about a twelve-minute halftime. We'll be back to action. So it'll just be a brief intermission. A night that saw a weather delay, but has turned into an absolutely gorgeous night. Temperatures have dropped into the 70s. No wind to speak of. Just an ideal night for football in August. The only place where you can watch middle school football every single Thursday night is right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. We'll see if they elect to punt here on 4th and 15 for the Redskins. Taylor is back deep in the punt formation. Snap nearly goes over his head. He kicks it to the left side of the field. It rolls forward before being dropped down. And now there's a fight for the ball on the ground. Let's see who they award it to. It looks like it's still going to be Avery Trace ball, but an interesting decision there. Caleb Hoser jumps on the ball. And an all-good player jumped on it with him, but it will be Avery Trace ball. 23 seconds to go in the first half. Let's see what Coach Orlando Easter decides to do here. He knows his running back has big playability. Do they elect to just sit on the ball and run out the clock, or do they try to add one more touchdown? It's a team last week that showed they are not afraid to continue to try to score, kicking an onside kick up 38 points last week. With 23 seconds to go in the second quarter, Raiders lead 28 to nothing. Avery Trace taking their time in the huddle. Clock is running. Running clock here with a 28-point lead in the first half. In the second half, that number jumps up to 35. <laughs> Snap is taken. Dropping back to pass is Holzer. Now he's going to rush forward. He has a man on his heels who brings him down for the sack. A very nice defensive play. And time will expire after the sack by Allgood. So at the end of the first half of play between Avery Trace and Allgood, the Raiders lead 28-0. Once again, it's a 12-minute halftime. We hope you'll stay with us through the halftime. But if you'd like to go away, come back after 12 minutes. We'll be back for second half action right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. We'll be back in 12 minutes. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. 
We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter.
Welcome back to Avery Trace Middle School where the Raiders lead the all good Redskins 28 to 0 as we get ready to kick off second half action. Four rushing touchdowns by Jackson Rollins have set the tone. Avery Trace holds the lead but all good gets the ball to start the second half and they'll look to change the narrative of the game with their opening drive. Once again, I'm Noah McKay, as always, on the call here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. We're thrilled to have you with us. Make sure you comment where you're watching from tonight. Hit that share button. Tag your family and friends so they know they can watch this game live. The only place you can watch middle school football every Thursday night is right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Avery Trace will kick off to start off the second half. Zach Connerman back deep to receive for all good, but Avery Trace has yet to kick it deep. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've lost a pair of glasses, if you've lost a pair of glasses, if you'll go to the concession stand, they've got those over there for you. The teams have taken the field after a brief stoppage. The officials are figuring out everything that's going on before they'll give us the whistle to start play. Two eight-minute quarters left. Avery Trace with the 28-0 lead. This is a game that has seen a very lengthy 45-minute to an hour-long lightning delay. It never actually rained here, so the field isn't wet. But there was lightning in the area. We saw it. We heard it. We felt it. It's now out of the area. It's a beautiful night. Mid-70s, no wind to speak of, no rain. Just a perfect night for football. Referee blows the whistle, and here we go. It is an onside kick, their second of the game. Let's see if it got 10 yards. It didn't, but it goes out of bounds, and so the ball will belong to all good in the illegal kick because it didn't go 10 yards, and it went out of bounds, so the flag is thrown for an illegal procedure. Carl and Vanessa watching from Virginia. We're thrilled to have you with us. It's one of the main reasons we like doing these live streams. People from all over the country can watch their family members play in these sports. There's nothing like it, and this is the only place you can watch it in this area. Once again, we hope you make your plans. Tomorrow It's the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show. I will be at White County to discuss the upcoming season for White County. New head coach, lots to talk about. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. Next week, we'll be there for Oakland coming up to face the Cookville Lady Cavs in a friendly girls soccer match. And then Thursday night will be another middle school football game. Stay tuned to our Facebook page for the details on all of our future broadcasts. The Redskins to start the second half. Mason Taylor under center, two men in the backfield. He takes the snap. He hands off. It's fumbled, though, and falling on it is Colum. Cullum falls on it, and so it remains with the Redskins, and they'll end up being right about the original line of scrimmage. All good is starting this drive in Avery Trace territory, the Avery Trace 42-yard line. Nice crowd on the opposite side of the field tonight. Taylor takes the snap, turns, heads off to Cullum. Cullum cuts up through the middle of the defense. He has a hole before he is taken down after a gain of about four. It'll bring up third and six. This is the first third down since the opening drive of the game for Allgood where they're not behind the chains. So a makeable third down here for all good. They're still looking to get on the board. Meanwhile, the Avery Trace defense has not given up a point in over a game and a half. Taylor takes the snap. It's a pitch outside to Cullum. He hits the edge and now turns upfield, slices up through the defense. He has some room to run before he's taken down, and that'll be a first down for all good. 
Looks like a gain of about 10. It will lead to a first and 10 for Allgood. The first first down of the game since the first quarter for Allgood. Part in the camera as we're adjusting it so you're able to see it on that side of the field. First and 10 for all good after the third down conversion. Taylor under center in the I formation. Takes the snap, hands off Cullum, up the middle, slices through the defense and for he is taken down. Positive gain there for the Redskins. Several Avery Trace Raiders there on the tackle. Gain of about five. It'll bring up second and five. Upperman is on the schedule to be broadcasted. Watching from Baxter. Once again, make sure you like our Facebook page. The schedule is still being tweaked at times, so we'll put up there our broadcast days and times when we know. But next Thursday night will be another middle school football game. I do know, if I recall off the top of my head, we will be broadcasting in a couple of weeks Upperman versus Avery Trace. Promises to be a good game. The Upperman Middle School Bees, obviously coached by Dustin Williams, now coming down from the high school level. As Mason Taylor takes the snap, hands off. And the back is hit in the backfield. It's Cancel. And that'll bring up a third and long, third and eight. And with that middle school schedule being tweaked, the easiest way to make sure we're coming to your town is if you saw the commercial, my phone number is on there. Call us if you want to sponsor a broadcast, especially with the middle school games. If you want a game you see broadcasted and you want to sponsor that game, we will come to that game and broadcast it on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. All the details is in that advertisement you've seen all game. Now at the I formation, Mason Taylor takes the snap. He pitches it outside. It's by Cancel. Cancel hit and dropped in the backfield. A nice play by the Avery Trace defense, and now it is fourth and long for Avery for all good. Casey Goldsby on the tackle. Fourth down and 10 for all good. They are in Avery Trace territory. Let's see what they elect to do here. Trailing 28 to 0. Looks like 350 left to go in the third quarter. Drive that's taking up a significant amount of time. And they're going to go for it here on fourth and 10. No doubt about it. Taylor comes up. Hunter Campbell joins him in the backfield now along with Cullum. He takes a snap. It's a pitch outside to Cullum. He gets hit in the backfield, but he shakes off the tackle. Now he turns upfield. He slices through. He's hit again. Bounces off another tackle. Gets to the outside, cutting through the middle. Cullum trying to make it happen himself before he's finally taken down. Let's see where they spot him, and a flag is thrown. And the flag was thrown after the play. This can make it interesting. I don't think Cullum got to the first down marker. It is close. A great individual effort by Jaleric Cullum. Cullum bounced off of two tackles, sliced up through the defense, gets up near the first down marker. It's on the opposite side of the field, so it's hard to tell if he actually got there. It looks like he is about half a yard short. He is... But now we have to check the penalty. The flag was thrown after the play was over. Referee goes over to talk to the all-good sideline. Big moment in the game here. It's a 28 to nothing lead for Avery Trace. All-good has to have points on this drive. Fourth and 10. Cullum gets within half a yard of the first down marker. Even more of a wrench can be thrown into it if this penalty, as I believe it is, is an after-the-play penalty. And the all-good offense is walking towards the sideline, so it doesn't appear to be good news for the Redskins, but great news for Avery Trace. Dead ball, personal foul called against Avery Trace, but it is a first down for the Raiders. That was a turnover on downs, and the Raiders will get their first offensive drive of the third quarter. And that'll back them up deep 
into their own territory. So timeout's going to be called on the field here. 3.15 left to go in the third quarter. Avery Trace leads all good, 28-0. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in All Good or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Welcome back to Avery Trace, where the Raiders lead the all-good Redskins 28-0. Just over halfway through the third quarter of play, Jackson Rollins had another great game. The Avery Trace defense has now nearly played f seven complete quarters without giving up a point. Handoff goes to Rollins. Rollins takes off down the sideline. He's hit. And he's going to be taken down after a gain of about six or seven. We'll see where they mark him. They'll bring up second down and medium. It's Caleb Holzer on the carry, pardon me. Holzer, like we said, the triple threat. He's played receiver. He's played running back. He's played quarterback. Blake Owen gives the call in for the offense. Avery Trace showing a different look offensively. Snap is taken. And it'll be brought around to the end. He's going to get hit in the backfield and taken down. A nice defensive play there by Allgood. No gain on the play. No gain to bring up third and three. Now they back it up a little bit, so it'll be third and four. Blake Owen gets the call and runs back into the huddle to relay it to his team. So we go under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Owen, under center, two running backs in the backfield. Third and four, he takes the snap, turns around, hands off to Holzer. Caleb Holzer up the middle. He is hit. He spins, keeps barreling his way forward. He's going to get the first down with the second effort. A nice play by Caleb Holzer, and he comes up celebrating, throws the arm forward for the first down. It's going to be good enough for a Raider first down. First down for Avery Trace. Once again, yes, it is late for a middle school football game. This game was slated to start at 6.30. We got one offensive play, which just happened to be a touchdown, and then we had a lengthy, nearly an hour-long lightning delay. So now, nearly two and a half hours after the scheduled start time, we are in the third quarter. As time ticks down, we are now 1.10 left to go in the period. First and 10 for the Raiders. Owen, under center. Takes the handoff. He's dropping back to pass. Now he pulls down. He's looking to run forward, but he is hit in the backfield by a host of Redskins and taken down. We'll see if he got back to the line of scrimmage. Owen 
dropped back quickly, but tucked it down. It was brought down for no gain. And second, that stick is behind the original line of scrimmage, and we'll say, uh, we'll say second and ten. Time quickly fading away here in the third quarter. A very quick quarter of play as we near 10 seconds remaining. We'll see if there's another snap even had in this quarter. And time does expire. So at the end of the third quarter of play between Avery Trace and Allgood, the Raiders lead the Redskins 28-0. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. We want to extend a special thanks to Brendan Johnson's Landscaping for providing the trailer we are using to broadcast today's game. Brendan Johnson Landscaping can take care of any of your landscaping needs. Call them today at 931-260-6505 to see how their exceptional service and competitive rates can take care of your landscaping needs today. Brendan Johnson Landscaping, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Entering the fourth quarter of play, Avery Trace out in front with a commanding 28-0 lead. They face a second and 10. Thrilled you could join us on this Thursday night. Beautiful night for football. No better place to watch it than right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Tomorrow night, or tomorrow, we'll be in White County for the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show. Sure to be a lot of fun discussing the state of that program under brand new leadership. Next week, we'll be there for Oakland versus Cookville in a girls' soccer friendly matchup. And then Thursday night will be another middle school football game right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. And not to hype it up too much, but we are just under a month away from the start of high school football season, and we will get things started on August 22nd at Tennessee Tech University. It'll be rivalry night as Upperman will be taking on Cookville. You are not going to want to miss that. This fourth quarter gets underway as it is a handoff. Up the middle goes Holzer. Now he bounces around to the outside, right to the sideline. He's going to get blasted right near the sideline, and us gets to about the 34-yard line. That's where he will be marked down. And so Holzer gets about 15 yards, and that'll be good enough for another Avery Trace Raider first down. He's going to pick up about 12 yards, enough for an Avery Trace. And a Blake Owen in the backfield now. Some of these younger Raiders getting a chance to shine a bit. Owen takes the snap, drops back. He's looking to his right now. He has to roll. He has a man there in his face, and he's going to get taken down for the sack. He attempts to flip it forward, and there's a flag thrown, and that'll look like it'll be intentional grounding. A very nice play coming off the edge by number 54. That is Michael Gluff. Gluff gets into the backfield. Takes Owen down. Owen just flips it forward, but that looks like it will be intentional ground and that ball didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Yes, he was out of the pocket. Yes, it did get out of bounds, but it didn't get back to the original line of scrimmage. And so it'll be an intentional grounding, which results in a loss of down, and it will be second and long now. Second and more than 20, it looks like. Second and about 22. 
way behind the chains is Avery Trace. Oh, and in the backfield in the shotgun. He's got a back to each side. And one receiver to his right, one to the left. He takes the snap. He drops back to pass and he throws it. His tight end is there, but he ends up dropping the ball. It bounces off his chest, and that'll be an incomplete pass. A couple of all good players jumped on the ball, but it is incomplete. The receiver was unable to grasp that ball to bring up third and long for Avery Trace. Third and about 22 for Avery Trace. Time continues to roll here. About six and a half minutes left to go in the ball game. The Raiders lead 28 to zero. Snap is taken by Owen. He hands off. His running back tries to get to the edge, but he's going to get taken down. Another nice defensive play. And they'll bring up fourth and long. The tackle is made by number 20, Wes Hudson. Casey Goldsby on the carry. It'll bring up a minimal gain. Be fourth and 20, and you have to imagine it'll be a punt here out of Avery Trace with that commanding lead. Owen bounced back, and he is ready to punt. A man back for all good. First punt of the game for Avery Trace. That snap almost gets away from him. Now men rush. The kick is booted straight up into the air and towards our trailer. It bounces over the fence, and it'll bring up first and ten deep in Avery Trace territory. The best field position of the game to start a drive for all good. Five minutes, 35 seconds left to go in this game. All good needs a score and needs it quickly. First and 10 for all good. The Raiders 36 yard line. Under center. One man out to the right, turn around, handoff, goes to Cullum. He cuts up to the middle. He's to the 30. He's to the 25. He spins around through a tackle, and that's going to be a good enough for a Redskin first down. A nice run there. Jaleric Cullum, 14 yard gain. And that'll put the ball at the Avery Trace 23 yard line. All good, threatening the score for the first time since the first quarter. Taylor comes up under center. He is Cancel and Cullum in the backfield. He takes the snap. It's a pitch out to the outside of Cullum. Cullum to the 25. He shakes off a tackle. Now he slices up through the middle. He's to the 20 going all the way. He is untouched. 15, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown. All good. No flags on the field. All good with the touchdown. Jaleric Cullum takes it 
into the end zone. He came to the one end on the pitch and he cut all the way back up through the middle of the field. Got the defense going one way, cut back the other, and ran untouched for the final 15 yards into the end zone. A nice individual effort there. And with 4.33 left to go, the score is now 28-6. to All good will come up for a two-point conversion. Outside pitch goes to Cullen. It's to the other end this way. He slices up, shakes off a tackle, shakes off another one. He's still rolling towards the end zone. A great individual effort by Jaleric. And he gets the two-point conversion. It's now 28-8. to Jaleric Cullen with back-to-back. -back. Nice plays for all good. Now the Redskins. And that's the first points given up by the Avery Trace defense. It took... A game in three quarters, but finally somebody has scored against Avery Trace, and it is all good. It's Jaleric Cullum. So now four and a half minutes left to go in the game. Avery Trace still has the 20-point lead at 28-8. to eight. You gotta believe Allgood's gonna go with the onside kick here. Avery Trace already recovered one earlier in the game, back in the first quarter. Four fifty-three left to go in this ball game. It's twenty-eight to eight in favor of the Raiders. Kickoff obviously has to go 10 yards if they do like to go with the onside kick here. Ball flaws off the tee. He will reset. Mason Taylor on to kick. He is the quarterback. Jackson Rollins, Blake Owen back deep to receive the kick if it does end up going deep, but perhaps an onside kick situation here. Here comes the kick. They ended up just kicking it deep, playing it safe. Blake Owen gets the ball. He's to the 40. He's to the 45. He's to the 50. The flag is down on the field, but Blake Owen is still on his feet all the way deep in the all-good territory. We'll see what the penalty is. So all-good decides, still facing the 20-point deficit. They're just going to kick it away. This penalty looks like it may go against Avery Trace as the players are rotating that way, but we'll have to see. The official makes his way towards the center of the field so he can make the call. It's a block in the back called against the Raiders, so going to be 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and it'll back them up back into their own territory. Looks like it'll be spotted right at the 42-yard line right in front of us. Avery Trace looking to ice the game away. All good, trying to make a game out of it, flip the script. They started that process with the touchdown. We mentioned it last week. It's a very highly touted Avery Trace offense, or team as a whole, actually. They have high aspirations for this season. Coach Orlando Easter is going to call a timeout here, so it'll be a timeout for Avery Trace. 4.43 left to go in this game. The Raiders lead the Redskins 28-8. We'll be right back. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. 
If you own a business and want to help support the young talent in our community, you should consider sponsoring our broadcast on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. Our broadcasts are seen by thousands of people in the area and are a unique way for people to see your business. If you want to join in on the fun, give me a call at 915-261-9193 or call Heather at 931-252-2689. Ad spots are filling up fast, so don't wait. Call us today. Welcome back to a beautiful night at Avery Trace Middle School. A touchdown by the All Good Redskins has cut into the commanding 28 to nothing lead. It's now 28 to 8 for the Raiders. They have a first and 10 on their 42 yard line. A big return by Blake Owen gets called back by a block in the back. Snap is taken and right up the middle it's going to go and he is blasted as a couple of yards past the line of scrimmage. It'll be a gain of two and bring up second and eight. New quarterback into the game is Jack Roberts for the Avery Trace Raiders. Roberts gets the call. He runs back into the huddle to give it to his team. Multiple athletes capable of playing the quarterback position for this Avery Trace Raiders squad. Right now it is Jack Roberts. We're under four minutes to go in this game. It's a 20-point lead for the Raiders. Roberts takes the snap, turns around, hands off, and he's going to get hit in the backfield and dropped. A great defensive play by number 20, Wes Hudson. Hudson with back-to-back -back big plays on back-to-back -back drives, and now we're going to have a timeout on the field called by Allgood. They want the ball back. It'll be third and long. After the timeout, 3.45 left to go in the game. Avery Trace leads 28-8. to We'll be right back. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing provides all your award and screen printing needs. From plaques and medals to hoodies and uniforms, they do it all. Visit them at 120 Circle Drive in Allgood or give them a call at 931-537-9559. Nelson Trophy and Screen Printing, proud sponsor of this broadcast on the UCR Media Network. So an uh, interesting development in the game. Avery Trace was cruising with a 28 to 8 lead. Avery Trace with a 28 to 8 lead after an all good touchdown and now it is a third and about 8 for the Raiders. 3.45 left to go in the game. A timeout called by all good. The Redskins want the ball back. And very quickly there, Coach Orlando Easter after back to back small gains for his offense has put his big guns back in the game. Keontae Easter's into the game, as is Jackson Rollins, the star running back who hasn't been seen much at all. We saw him on a kick return in the second half, but he hasn't been on the field offensively. Let's see if they try to give it to him as they need eight yards to try to ice this game away. Easter. He hits him with the hard count. Let's see who this penalty goes against. There's movement on both sides. The officials, this is always a 50-50 call, which one they saw move first. Quite frankly, I saw both sides move at the same time. I'm not sure who jumped first. It's a big call in this game right here. Could put Avery Trace behind the chains or give them third and short. And it's going to go against the Raiders. It'll be a false start. Five-yard penalty puts them behind the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third and about 14. So Jackson Rollins back into the game. He hadn't been seen much at all in the second half, but you know, quickly important third down play here. Easter under center. And now another false start penalty is going to go against Avery Trace. Vince Atabelli just got a little bit jumpy there, jumped off sides, and that'll back him up five more. That'll bring up third and 19. So it was a third and nine. And all of a sudden it's third and very long. Jackson Rollins, though, into the game with that big playability. Third and 19 doesn't seem as long as it does with some teams. The all-good defense looking for another stop. They have forced a punt on the last drive. They're trying to do that again. Easter under center, same formation, takes the snap, turns, hands off to Rollins. Rollins bounces around right side. He's got a lot of room to run. He's to the 40. He's to the 45. He's to the 50, and he's gone. 45, 40, 35, 30. He's into the red zone. 15, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Avery Trace. Jackson Rollins with his fifth rushing touchdown of the game. 
76 yards. Pardon me, 66 yards for Jackson Rollins. Another big touchdown run by the star running back for Avery Trace. And that ices the game away. It's 34 to 8. Some members of the Avery Trace coaching staff and Jackson Rollins went into the game, looked at me and said touchdown, and they were right. 64 yards, third and 19 didn't matter. It's now 34 to 8, and they will go for two. Rollins takes it right up the middle, and he is in with the two-point conversion. It's now 36 to 8. They've all good with a valiant effort in the fourth quarter. They cut it down to a 20-point deficit, but Jackson Rollins, who hadn't played much in the second half, perhaps getting some rest, don't want to get a player like that injured, comes into the game and goes 66 yards. And just like that, the lead is back up to 36-8. to eight. Jackson Rollins, four rushing, five rushing touchdowns tonight. Coach Easter told me he thinks he's the best running back in the state. He's shown that off the first two weeks of the season. All good, though, was able to crack into the scoreless streak that the Avery Trace defense had going. They were victors 44-8, 44-0 last week. This week won't be as lopsided. A nice showing in their first outing by the all-good Redskins. A promising season for that team in their own right. Three thirty-three left to go in the game. It's a 28-point lead for Avery Trace. One final sub into the game for Avery Trace as they get everything lined up. Similar situation last week. They kicked an onside kick. They're doing that again. It goes to the outside, but it hasn't gone 10 yards yet. Now it rolls forward, but the player touches it. It was going to go 10 yards. I think they were going to be able to recover that, but he touches it, and a flag will be thrown there as it didn't go 10 yards. It'll be a legal touching, and the ball will go to all good. We're thrilled you were able to join us here on this Thursday night as we wind down this game. Tomorrow, the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show is will be at White County High School. Going to enjoy talking to the new coaching staff there. You're not going to want to miss it. Coach Frazier making big changes for White County. We're going to discuss all of it. It's going to be an exciting time next week. Oakland versus Cookville, a girls soccer friendly. And then Thursday night, another middle school football game right here in the Upper Cumberland Reporter. And we're already starting to talk about it. August 22nd, Tennessee Tech University, Tucker Stadium. We will be there live for Cookville versus Upperman. It is a rivalry game, a rivalry that exploded last year with Upperman's ascent towards the top of the 3A rankings. Cookville looking for revenge on their loss last year. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it is less than a month away. But now, all good. Out of the I formation. Trailing by 28, snap is taken. He's looking out to the right, throws it downfield. A man is there. He catches it. First completion of the game for the Redskins, and that'll be a first down for all good. A nice throw and a nice catch. Mason Taylor to Parker Holland. Pardon. Wes Hudson was there on the catch. Holland raced down, though, to get Hudson up. Wes Hudson with a nice fourth quarter of action. He's made two nice defensive plays, and now that catch. All good's on the move again. First and 10 at the Avery Trace 34-yard line. See if they try to go to the air again here. Snap is taken. It's another pass. Rolling out to the light. Taylor. Now he's going to take it and run. He gets to the 35. Now he's to the 30. He slides down. Nice defensive play. He slides down to avoid taking the hit at the 30-yard line. Gain of about four. Nice defensive play by number five, Kenny Kimball. Second, second and seven, pardon me, not second and five. 
See if they go to the air again here. Mason Taylor. One receiver out to his right, two men in the backfield. Takes the snap. It's going to roll back. He throws to Collum. Collum with some space. He slices back through the defense. He's past the first down marker. He's still on his feet, cutting back through the middle. He dives forward. Jaleric Collum is putting on a show in this fourth quarter for Allgood. He's found his legs in the opening game of the season. And now Allgood moves into the red zone. They will be at the Avery Trace 16-yard line. Jaleric Collum is showing that he is a player with a bright future in this fourth quarter. He has the touchdown rush. He converted the two-point conversion on that play. Gets about 15 yards for the first down. We'll see if they go back to him. We're under two minutes to go in this game. Jobbing back to pass. A hit and sacked. A sack by the defense of Avery Trace. Puts them behind the chains. A nice defensive play there. Jacob Knight with the sack, and a timeout's going to be called on the field. 1.42 left to go in the game. It's a 28, or pardon me, is a 36-8 to eight lead for Avery Trace. Timeout on the field. Avery Trace holds the 28-point lead, but Allgood is threatening again. They scored on their previous possession with the first touchdown of the game. First points given up by the Avery Trace defense in two games. And now they're back in the red zone again, wanting to punch their ticket to the end zone. Teams retake the field. Time is ticking down here. 142 left to go in the contest. All good after the sack by Jacob Knight faces a second and 14. They're on the 20-yard line. See if they try to go to Jaleer at Cullum again. He's the man with the touchdown. Taylor takes the snap. He's dropping back to pass. Throws downfield. His receiver's there, but it's over his head. So that'll go incomplete, and it'll bring up third and long. Gonna bring up third down and 13. 138 left to go in this game. It's a 28-point lead for the Avery Trace Raiders. Taylor, under center. He's got Cancel and Cullum in the backfield. It's third and 14. Takes the snap. He's going to pass. He's looking left. He has to roll left. He's got a bunch of men in his face, and he is hit and sacked. The ball is on the ground and recovered by every trace. Let's see what they rule. They're going to say he was down. In the end, it doesn't matter. It's going to bring up fourth and very long. Two Avery Trace Raiders there with a vicious sack. Taylor rolled out to his left, but... Ran out of time. He was hit and dropped. It brings up fourth and very long. Timeout called by Allgood. 112 left to go in the game. They look to, they're trying to stop the clock here. Give themselves one last chance to score. Fourth and 25, and we come back.
Fourth and 25 upcoming for the All Good Redskins. One last chance to get back on the scoreboard. Mason Taylor looks like he's going to drop in the pistol formation for the first time tonight. 112 left to go in this game in which Avery Trace holds a commanding 28-point lead. It's 36-8. to Taylor throws over to Cullum. Cullum looks to make some moves. He slices through the middle. He's still on his feet. He's rolling forward. He's still on his feet. Slices through another tackle. Still rolling. Still on his feet. Dives towards the original line at the first down marker. An amazing individual effort by Jaleric Cullum. Slicing through tacklers, he just would not be denied. Let's see where he went down. Did he end up getting the first down? An unbelievable individual effort. He ends up being just short, so the individual effort by Cullum falls short. Avery Trace will take over on offense. 101 left to go in the game. And on a game and on a in a game where the outcome is no longer in doubt, you have to respect the effort by Jaleric Cullum to stay on his feet, slicing towards the first down marker. But he ends up going down out of bounds, and it'll be first and ten for Avery Trace. Jackson Rollins still in the game, coming off another huge touchdown run. We'll see if they elect to give it to him again. 101 left to go. It's 36 to 8. And they will start deep in their own territory on the six-yard line. Blake Owen taking over at quarterback for Caleb Holzer near the end of the third quarter. Comes back in. We'll see if they elect to try to get another big play with Jackson Rollins or not. Referee blows his whistle. Rollins in the backfield. Owen under center. We'll see if they give it to him. They're going to take the knee, though. All good's not going to elect to take any more of their timeouts. They're just going to burn the clock out. One minute left to go with the game. So Avery Trace is going to knee out this ball game and secure the 36-8 victory. Another big win for Avery Trace. They will improve to 2-0 and on the young season. All good. We'll fall to 0-1 in their season opener. Neither one of these district games for either team. But still, you know they like those records. So Avery Trace, the Raiders, will be 2-0. and All good, 0-1. Avery Trace now can boast the fact that they've given up eight points in two complete games of play as the final knee is taken, and the teams will then line up to shake hands along the 50-yard line. So the Avery Trace Raiders, as time expires, secured the 36-8 win over the all-good Redskins. Once again, make your plans tomorrow night, the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show. I will be in White County to talk with Coach Frazier, first-year coach, about the state of his program and what he's doing with White County next week. We will be there for Oakland versus Cookville High School in a soccer friendly. And then on Thursday night, it will be middle school football, as always, right here on the Upper Cumberland Reporter. For Hope Little and Lance Little on camera, Aspen Little taking pictures. I am Noah McKay, as always. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the Upper Cumberland Reporter Coaches Show. <laughs>